Today on American Jeeper, I'm going to tell you about a great roof rack option for your Jeep Wrangler JL. So I've been getting a lot of questions from my other YouTube videos and on Instagram. People are saying, hey American Jeeper, what's that rack? I didn't know that there was a Rhino rack out for the JL yet. Uh, so I'm going to tell you what this option consists of. There are actually two components, and the first one is, in fact, the Rhino Pioneer Rack. The same rack that you can get for the Jeep Wrangler JK. The other piece of it is actually done by Maximus 3. Lesser known than Rhino Rack, but a great company nonetheless. Really the secret and the beauty behind this rack and this solution is the Maximus 3 brackets that come with the rack. The rack is very low profile and you can use it to hold things like your high lift jack, uh, even strong enough for a rooftop tent. Any rooftop tent that's on the market today, this rack will hold. Uh, you can put lights on it. Uh, by the way, these are some Baja Designs lights uh, that I installed on the rear of this roof rack. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about that, there's a separate video here on the American Jeeper channel. So if you're interested, check it out. And by the way, this isn't really an installation video, but I will go through the highlights. To install this rack and the brackets, you do need to drill eight holes in your hardtop. This is the hole I drilled to allow for wiring access for the lights. So there are four low profile Maximus 3 brackets just underneath the roof rack that attach on the inside of the hardtop at four separate mounting points with two bolts each. This is the front. And it mounts right into the sport bar and all the weight is supported by the sport bar. So that's the one of the beauties of this solution where it can hold additional weight. You have a fiberglass top, it's pretty fragile. None of the weight is on the top. So this is the back. And what I really like about it, if you look here, these two bolts here, you can actually remove the lower and the upper mounting points. So you can take the hard top off easily still. You have a few more bolts to, to uh, take care of, but you can still take your hard top off, which is nice. The front brackets here look like they're a little tough to get to, but they're still in two pieces so you don't have to take the whole rack apart. By the way, when you do the installation, there's all these little Torx bits. You have to remove a lot of this trim in here, which is a little time consuming, but not too bad. Now, the other thing you have to do is relocate the satellite antenna to the front. Uh, it's pretty easy. You just re relocate some wires. And lastly, you do have to trim these pieces here uh, just slightly to get them to uh, accommodate those brackets. But it's pretty straightforward. Uh, takes a little time, but definitely worth it for this rack. So let's talk some numbers. Uh, some people ask, you know, how much height does this add to the Jeep? Only adds uh, just under two and a half inches. I think uh, it advertises 2.25 inches that it adds. That's without rails or anything else added to it. I've just got just the flat rack here, which is great. Uh, what is the weight capacity? For a dynamic load, it can hold 300 pounds. So driving down the road, uh, 300 pounds. Static, it can hold... 900 pounds, which is great. The intention here is to run a, a rooftop tent eventually and haul a little bit more than a, a paddleboard here. But um, even the largest rooftop tent on the market with three or four people in it uh, is not going to be 900 pounds. So it's going to hold plenty of weight. Um, looks great. And uh, I'd highly recommend it to anyone uh, in the market for a roof rack. Uh, you can order directly from Maximus 3 or you can order from a place like Northridge 4x4, which I get a lot of my stuff from. But if you guys have any questions on it, please let me know in the comments. And I think that's it, guys. Appreciate you taking time to watch this. If you are interested in more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the American Jeeper channel. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell to get notifications on new videos when they're released. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you on the trails.